Welcome, 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 and thank you for visiting Mini Pokemart. In this video, I'm going to try to explain a little bit more about who am I, why Mini Pokemart exists, and what this channel is for. So hopefully, something will resonate with you, and uh, you will hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get informed about anything that is happening in the Pokemon collecting world. So who am I? My name is Half and I've been a collector for all my life. Since I was very young, I started collecting coins, started collecting um, bills, started collecting all other types of stuff that were not Pokemon related because when I was very little, Pokemon didn't exist. But then Pokemon hit the market and uh, it was a huge boom, right? And uh, I remember playing the games and enjoying them and loving them and, and really, really being passionate about Pokemon. And at that time, a lot of my friends started bringing cards to school. And I, I remember watching them playing and I was like, hey, those cards are super cool because they are basically similar to the Pokemon that I have in the game. Uh, but now it's something physical that I can touch and I can collect. And my inner collector just was kind of shouting inside of me. And I decided to start collecting all the cards. And uh, I remember it was hard to get the cards because in, back in Mexico it was harder to get them than probably here in the US. And uh, I, slowly but gradually I started bringing up my collection until it got to a pretty good level, pretty good level. And then um, middle school, high school started and uh, I decided to not collect anymore. I didn't have enough money to keep collecting. I decided that my money should be spent in other stuff like parties and cars. <laughs> uh, so I, I stopped collecting. And then uh, uh, years passed and finally I, I got a steady income and, and a job and, and I decided to go back to it. I, I decided to go back to it in 2014 more or less and I started collecting back again. I remember calling my mom and I was like, hey mom, where's my Pokemon cards? Remember, uh, I left them at your house and uh, she basically went quiet and uh, after just like a couple of seconds which felt like an eternity for me she was like yeah your cards are gone i don't know where they are uh, so she basically gave them away uh, i hope someone was very happy with my collection and i hope they still have it and taking good care of it i know that a lot of them were not in the near mint condition uh, but independently i was devastated so it was, as I said, back in 2014 and I said, okay, let's just get started again. Let's just build a new collection. Um, so I started collecting again, but this time I started collecting in a more informed manner, more focused with a goal oriented. And I, I was now more informed in finance and more informed in uh, other markets like stocks and, uh, and economics. And, and I was like, okay, I can put all this knowledge that I have into collecting Pokemon and just not collecting Pokemon, but now investing in Pokemon. And that's where the idea of Mini Pokemon came out. Mini Pokemon is an online shop for collectibles. It's a place where you can find everything you're looking for in terms of collectibles for Pokemon, where we have enough information uh, for you to make wise decisions whether or not you want to collect that item or not. And this video is not to tell you about minipokemart.com, but I, was, I wanted just to tell you why Mini Pokemart exists. And this channel, which is Mini Pokemart's channel, it's basically a way for me to give back to the community, to this hobby. Because I think it's important to have some education around the finance aspect of collecting, how to invest in Pokemon cards, how to invest in Pokemon products, because as you know, the collectible space in Pokemon is huge. It's not just cards, there's toys, there's cars. There's uh, a lot of stuff that you can collect in the Pokemon world. And with all of that out there, making the right decisions if you care about investing, it's hard. And that's where this, uh, this, this channel idea came from. I started opening packs, but it was not really what I wanted to do to give back to the community. That is very entertaining and I love it. But for this channel, if you're interested, and hopefully you are, uh, and you will subscribe to this channel, we're going to be talking about the investment side of things. How can you invest in Pokemon products? How to research Pokemon products? How to know uh, a value of a Pokemon item? How to uh, do estimates? How to um, basically dive deep in making wise decisions just like you would do in any other type of financial assets? Because in the end, I believe that the Pokemon collectible space 
could be a very valuable alternative to other investment assets in your portfolio. And that's what this channel is going to be more about, more about the investing, more about uh, what to buy, what not to buy, when to buy it. Uh, we'll do a lot of reviews in different uh, eras of the Pokemon world. We'll do a lot of reviews in the new products as well and we'll be comparing them. And if you like opening products, this channel will also have those, but it will be more oriented towards that return of investment value and the value inside that packs, in, inside that package that we will be reviewing. So it will be a very unbiased review and uh, all the information going back to you so that you can make the best decisions when buying a collectible. Now, we cannot be very serious because it's a collectible space and it's Pokemon, so we'll add some substance and some fun into it, uh, but essentially that's what this channel is for. So if you really care about Pokemon collecting and you care also about learning how to collect more wisely and how to invest uh, and how to maybe make some money around Pokemon products, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm very excited about this, hopefully you are. I'm, I'm going to have a blast uh, recording different videos for this channel and uh, I hope to see you in the next one.